the artificial kidney. I get asked that question so many times, almost every day. So this video is about where are we regarding the artificial kidney and exactly what is the artificial kidney and what do we mean when we talk about the bioimplantable artificial kidney. So the term bio means living part. So the bioimplantable artificial kidney is made out of two elements. There is an implantable element that is not living and there is the bio or biological part which is living cells that are part of that kidney. It is totally different than what we have today which is the hemofilter. If you look at this hemofilter, the hemofilter is about a foot long and has a diameter of about two inches. And this is totally different than what we are going to be talking about. So, the first part of the bio-implantable or the artificial kidney is made out of the membrane. This membrane is mainly a silicone membrane, which is totally different than the current membranes in the hemofilters and is 10 times more capable of filtration and allowing the fluid to be removed. So it doesn't need to be as big and as long. It only need to be the size of a fist, just like you're looking at it right now. It is a size of a fist that is implanted in the right lower part. It is more effective in pulling fluids. And the second part of the artificial kidney is the bioreactor. The bioreactor means there are some biological part in that second part of the kidney that has biological functions. And it's mainly cells that have been taken from a deceased donor that can donate a kidney, but this kidney is not good enough to be transplanted in a recipient. So the kidney is taken to the lab and that kidney is analyzed and then decided that a certain part of that kidney, which is called the proximal tubular cells, are taken and they are planted in the bioreactor part. These cells are very well known to manage the acid base or the production of bicarbonate, as well as the sodium and potassium. So the first part, which is the filtration part, is made of silicone. The second part is the bio part, there are living cells. So if there are living cells, there's a risk of rejection and there's a risk of clotting. Fortunately, the cells and the bio part has been coated with a material that reduces the risk of clotting. So far, we have not seen any rejection. So the three elements, essential elements, of the bio-implantable artificial kidneys have been ironed out. Is it ready for me tomorrow? And the answer, this kidney is not any time ready for prime time. The reason is these are concepts that have been proven to be working, but they need to be put together in a practical product. And I think we are at least five years away from that practical product. So if it was you and or if I am your kidney specialist and I want to give you an advice, I would tell you prevention. I would tell you awareness, I would tell you early detection, and I would tell you early intervention to reduce the risk of your progression to kidney disease, especially if you're a diabetic or hypertensive. With this, I am Dr. Rafai, the virtual nephrologist, a specialist in kidney disease, hypertension, and dialysis, and I wish you the best, and I wish you a safe and healthy kidneys, and don't count and the artificial kidney as a mean that is ready to be used at this time. Stay healthy and safe. I'm the virtual nephrologist.